Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to use the COUNTIF function in Excel to count the number of cells that contain certain words. So we're looking for partial matches here. And in my example, I want to count how many cells in column A where the word Excel is mentioned. So I've got a list of courses that maybe I'm imagining have been delivered over a certain timeline and I wish to know how many of them were Excel courses but there are a great variety of them from advanced to foundation to dashboard courses with different versions and a bunch of other stuff in between there. So I'm just looking for the word Excel, not a specific Excel 2010 advanced. So in cell C2, that's where it's happening, I'm going to start off the COUNTIF function. Let me put my opening oops, uh, bracket in there. So it'll prompt me for the range and then the criteria. Now the range will be those cells. So it could just be the entire column A. I want to highlight A2 to A19 there. Put in my comma. And now it's all about the criteria. Now, if I just type Excel within my inverted commas and close bracket, that's not going to return anything. And that's why I need to make sure I've got a partial match. I'm looking for just the word Excel somewhere in that range. So what I'm going to do is enclose that Excel string. I'm going to wrap it with a couple of asterisks, a couple of kind of stars if you will. So what that means is I'm looking for any kind of text that might appear before it and any kind of text that might appear after it. So just somewhere in that cell that word is mentioned and if I press enter now it returns eight. There are eight cells in that list, eight Excel courses. So this asterisk is known as a wild card. Some of you watching this would have used that before at some point I'm sure. And it just replaces any kind of text. So it's great that, especially if you're using columns to record maybe comments that people have made and descriptions, that you can look for specific occurrences of words and not just the entire string of a cell. I hope you enjoyed this video. That is using count if for text that contains or partial matches. If you enjoyed that video, please check out some of our others on our YouTube channel or come check us out on our website, check our blog out at computerguardguard.com.